Hey everyone, today on Classic Action Figures, we are going to be taking a look at the Legend of Zelda figure of Link by Jack Specific. This version of Link is from the Skyward Sword video game. Here's a look at the front of the package. We can see Link with his shield, the Master Sword, and the sheath. On the top of the package we can see an illustration of Link, along with the World of Nintendo logo, the suggested age range, and the series number. On the back of the package we can see the other figures in the wave, along with an image of the product and a note of some of the features. Alright, and here's how the figure looks out of the package. This is a pretty good representation of how Link looked on the Twilight Princess video game. It's an adult version of Link, and there are some great details on him, like his tunic, the chainmail under the tunic, the bracelets, the pouches on his back, and also his boots. The paint job on him is pretty basic. There really isn't any weathering done on the figure. The face sculpt is okay. It's not the best representation of the character, but it's pretty decent. The articulation on the figure is quite good. He can move his head from side to side, but not much back and forth. He can also rotate at the torso from side to side. His arms can rotate 360 degrees, and he can extend his arms out quite well. He can also bend and rotate at the elbows, and his hands can twist, and they can also pivot forwards and back. His legs can kick forward and back, but this is somewhat restrained due to the tunic, and he can also extend his legs out quite a bit. He can bend at the knees 90 degrees, he has a boot cut, and finally his feet also pivot. He comes with three accessories. Here's a look at the sheet for the sword. It's really well detailed, and it's done in blue with some yellow highlights at the top and at the bottom. He also comes with a master sword, and it looks quite good. The paint job is a bit iffy on mine, since it has some scuffs on the top. The handle for the sword is done in a dark blue color, while the actual blade has a soft blue color with some white accents for the side of the blade. Finally we have the shield, and it's a really great looking shield. It's well sculpted in a light gray color, and it has some red, yellow and white accents for the Triforce and the logo, and these are done over a blue back color. The back of the shield also has some nice details for the handle and the strap. Speaking of this handle, I had a bit of a hard time trying to get Link's hands to go under the brown arm strap. So once I did it, I didn't want to mess with it. Also one thing to note is that Link is a left handed character in most Zelda games. But because this version of the character appeared on the Wii, he carries the sword on his right hand and the shield on his left hand. So this figure is accurate to that version of the character. Overall, this figure is quite good. It's not as good as a Figma figure, but then again, it's only $10 in retail stores. It's a well-made figure, but I'm not sure if I like this one better than the cartoony version. I usually prefer this look for the character, but I think Jack Specific did a better job with the cartoony version. Anyway, that is it for this review. Stay tuned for more toy reviews on classic action figures. Until next time, take it easy.